Hey Leo, it's Teresa with One Love One Light. Welcome to your message. My intention is for us to get some insight on what's affecting your love energy, but we'll see what spirit wants to bring out. Let's get started with a Power of Love card. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? And we have vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. And so what I'm getting there is it's like you have a particular vision on how you want a relationship to go, whether this is already happening or something that you want to happen. I feel like um, you have a particular vision and it's crucial that you express that and share that with your potential partner or your current partner. It's like, um, you know, how could they, I'm getting like, how could they live up to your expectation if you haven't shared that? Not that, <clears throat> not that they should have to try to live up to an expectation, but I feel like if you don't share the vision, then they're not sure where you're trying to take things, if that makes sense. All right, what else do we have for Leo? And we have space. May your heart and your scope expand. So I feel like there is a need also to expand your vision, not think small, think bigger. And this could be for life. This could be for your relationship. But whatever it is, your vision, you're, you're thinking too small or it's a need to expand your possibilities. So this could even be expanding your, you know, dating pool or expanding where you might want to live, um, these or what type of job you may want to have. I feel like this is all about coming into your destiny. And I feel like, you know, this is definitely going to expand your heart. So this could be, you know, a destined relationship that we're talking about here. What else do you have spirit for Leo? And we have the answer is no. So I don't know what that means, if there was a question you're asking, but I feel like um, there's definitely something where emotions are being dried up because it looks like a dry lake bed, but I'm going to get another card because there's definitely spirit wanted you to know that answer is no if you're asking a particular question, but I feel like... Um, if you weren't, then that's not going to apply to you. <coughs> Excuse me. What else do we have for Leo? And we have mirroring. So I feel like there is, it, there's definitely something about the way things appear here. As above, so below is what I'm getting because we have space here. But I also feel like if there's something that you're looking at another person and seeing as wrong or whatever, however you're labeling it, whatever you're seeing in another person is reflecting back. It's coming from you. It's something that you are also reflecting on, on, on yourself. So there's definitely mirroring happening here, but it can also be like, mirroring each other's feelings like reciprocating feelings so i feel like um but with it coming out on on that the answer is no it's like um there's something there's a negative connotation here and we'll have to explore more to see what that is all right so what's the recent past energy for leo and we have the king of gems, the king of pentacles, the realist. So I'm just getting like things are moving rather slowly, but they are stable. And, and this is about expanding. Um, you know, it's like you've, you're going down a well-beaten path is what I'm getting. And it's about expanding where that path is going to take you and not always doing things the same way that they've been done before. All right, so what is the current energy? And we have the nine of roses, the nine of wands, habits. Yeah, I'm getting like 
things have been done the same way and it's not necessarily resulted in what you what you what your vision is so there's definitely a new path that needs to be taken what is the challenge here and we have the two of cups romance so i feel like this is like are you truly connecting or are you are you reciprocating love are you connecting on that divine level that's the challenge here what is the advice from spirit and we have the nine of shells which is the nine of cups so this is wish fulfillment so i feel like we have two nines here so i feel like you're just going through a cycle that has left you feeling depleted. And I feel like it's it's important to know that they are feeling depleted as well. And I feel like this is getting back to an emotional connection. And this could be even like remembering back to when you first began this relationship. Um, I feel like what is it that brought you together? Is that still, is that still a factor? Like if, if, it was that you shared a hobby do you still share that hobby if it was that you shared a certain belief or a certain view do you still share that belief or view have you expanded have you both grown obviously we always grow because we're always learning lessons it's just a matter of which direction did we grow in did we grow apart did we are we with each other out of comfort and not out of love you know, or um, being in love. We could love each other, but are we in love? Do we have the romance anymore? Okay, so this is, this wish fulfillment is this vision. So I feel like that's what you need to share here with your partner, or I, I really do feel like this is a longstanding relationship, or it feels like it's been, you know, a major commitment in your life. And so it's a matter of sharing that vision and then really looking at, are we on the same path? Are we, do our paths harmonize each other? Are they at least um, on the same plane, you know? All right, so what's the outcome here? And we have the five of roses. So that's the five of wands competition. So I feel like there is something competing for attention here. And so whether this is, you know, there could be um, like, too much time somebody working too many hours or or they have a hobby or friend group that takes more of their time so it it's less time to connect here something has interfered in a way or caused some type of conflict at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords so you have three nines here nine 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 whatever this is whatever is causing like this anxiety or this change um, this is something that is coming to an end as far as the cycle goes. So how that ends is going to be different for each of you, but I feel like what needs to be considered is the cycles that you have gotten into, the paths that you have been taking repeatedly. And it's a well-worn path, but it's like there's definitely time for something new. And it's just a matter of are we doing this together or are we going our separate ways. Okay, so show me this King of Pentacles. Oops. Show me this King of Pentacles. And we have the Empress, Divine Feminine. So I feel like there's definitely, here we are, this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And this is the, the recent past or the past of where we came together and that's how we have um that's what we built upon which is great so show me this nine of roses this nine of wands and we have the king of cups so i feel like this is about one person growing um to master their emotions and another person has not that's what i'm getting here show me this two of cups And we have the Knight of Wands, Passionate Adventure. So this is what I'm getting is that there's definitely like been some disconnect and, and it's in the romance and passion um, 
area. So I feel like things have dried up here, but I feel like this is about understanding that you still have the love to bring you back together to really, to really explore new things together, to experience new things together and to um, stoke the fire in that passion that you once had in this relationship. Show me this nine of cups. And we have the five of pentacles, isolated and alone. So I feel like you're feeling alone. You're feeling like you're not getting the attention that you once got. And I feel like this is you taking the first step to say, I'm feeling lonely in this relationship. And so I feel like this is going to really bring about um, some positive change to the relationship because I feel like they're going to say, I feel the same way. I feel like you're mirroring each other. Show me this five of roses. <clears throat> and we have the knight of pentacles. So I feel like it's, you know, it's something where you're going to get past it. It's just going to take some time. At the bottom of the deck, we have the knight of cups romantic gesture. Yes, I do feel like there is some romantic feelings that are going to come back. It's about reviving and stoking that fire within. All right, so let's go ahead and see what guidance do we have? There is hope for this relationship. You just have to both want it and you have to um, both participate in putting the extra effort to, to bring back that flame. All right. What guidance do we have for Leo? And we have celebration, let go and have fun. So I feel like this is kind of like a prescription that you need to have fun with each other, celebrate how far you've come, but also revive, revive things. And it will, by having fun and being carefree, it's going to take a lot of the pressure off and then you're able to truly experience each other again in a romantic and passionate way. Let's get one more. And we have illusion, embrace the truth. So I feel like this is just, um, this is like a mirror here. And I feel like this is just reminding you that most likely the way that you feel is the same way that your partner feels. So that is what I'm getting for this. I feel like, um, I feel like your wishes can come true. You just have to share your vision with your partner and really let them know how you feel, that you've been feeling lonely and that the passion has seemed to wane, but it takes work <clears throat> for you to both stoke that fire. So there we go. Those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.